hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about various coupling mechanisms available in the waveguides so what do you mean by coupling mechanism and what is the necessity to couple a power from one waveguide to another waveguide so coupling mechanism is nothing but it is used to couple the power or transfer the power from one waveguide to another waveguide okay sometimes it is necessary to transfer the power like electrical energy or magnetic energy from one waveguide to another waveguide that means it is used to transfer the power among the waveguides so waveguide coupling waveguide coupling is a process of electromagnetic energy transferred to transferred from one waveguide to another waveguide another waveguide so it is a process of transferring the electromagnetic energy both electrical energy and as well as magnetic energy so that means e component and h component electrical energy nothing but e plus h component both components or any single component either electrical energy or magnetic energy transfers from one waveguide to another waveguide okay waveguides can be waveguides can be coupled to generators excitation sources or other waveguides or other waveguides to exchange to exchange energy into energy in and out okay so waveguides can be coupled with which they can couple waveguides can be coupled to generators excitation sources or other waveguides to share or to exchange the energy from one another so they can take the energy or they can transfer the energy that means that uh, exchange the energy in and out when waveguides are coupled when waveguides are coupled to power sources various propagation modes various propagation modes are excited and there can be events and modes to store energy so when a waveguide is coupled I, I i am saying from the second point we can understand that the waveguides can be coupled to uh, 
generators, excitation sources, and other waveguides. Suppose if the waveguides are coupled to excitation sources, nothing but power sources, where the power is going to be originated. In such case, the waveguide, as the waveguide, when a wave is being propagated inside the waveguide, it can uh, experience number of modes. So in such a way, when a power source is going to be inserted the wave into the waveguide coupled from that wave, uh, power source, it also experiences a lot of number of various modes. Okay. So what are the different types of coupling mechanisms? Okay. Till now we have seen what do you mean by coupling and how to couple the power from one waveguide to another waveguide and what could be the uh, different uh, sources of coupling. Okay, that means so one waveguide to another waveguide we can couple, one waveguide to power source we can couple, one waveguide to excitation source or any other uh, generators we can couple. So now, what are the different types of coupling? Types of coupling mechanisms. What are the different types of coupling mechanisms? There are three different types of coupling mechanisms. There are three types of coupling mechanisms available. available suppose if you take a power to be coupled from one waveguide to another waveguide we can couple in three different ways okay they are they are first one probe coupling probe coupling second loop coupling And third one is aperture coupling. Aperture coupling. So what do you mean by probe coupling, loop coupling and aperture coupling? By seeing the names we can just imagine what could be the power that we can couple from one waveguide to another waveguide. What I told you in the coupling mechanism, coupling mechanism is used to transfer the energy from one waveguide to another waveguide. Transfer the energy, which energy? Elect electromagnetic energy. Electromagnetic energy is nothing but it consists of both electrical energy and magnetic energy. That means we can transfer the entire energy or we can transfer only electrical energy or it, we can transfer only magnetic energy. Okay, so probe coupling is a mechanism that is used to transfer or couple the power that is electric energy from one waveguide to another waveguide. Okay, that means in probe coupling only an electric field can be coupled from one waveguide to another waveguide. That is E coupling is possible in this probe coupling. In the loop coupling, loop, loop is nothing but it is related to magnetic field. Okay, when a coil is, when a coil is make in a loop shape, the, when a power is being transferred along the loop, the coil releases the magnetic flux. That is nothing but magnetic field is generated and in this way, the magnetic coupling can be done using this loop. So that's why H coupling only magnetic field can be coupled using this loop coupling and coming to the probe aperture coupling in aperture coupling the entire electromagnetic energy can be transferred from one waveguide to another waveguide so both e and h can be coupled in this electric aperture coupling okay so now hope you understand these three different types of coupling mechanisms and what do you mean by coupling mechanism now let us see individually with the diagrams what do you mean by probe coupling see this is the probe coupling in probe coupling a probe inside a coaxial line is used to distribute the energy into waveguide see here this is the coaxial line 
coaxial cable or coaxial line that is inserted at a distance of quarter wavelength see exactly at a distance of quarter wavelength from here it is quarter wavelength and here also it is quarter wavelength exactly at a distance of quarter wavelength a small hole is made and a probe like a coaxial line is going to be inserted so as current starts flowing in this probe an electric field is set up and it gets detached from the probe to the waveguide see when the current is flowing through this one what happens the current is flowing through this one and this is the copper cable that is inserted into it and the electric field that is released into the waveguide in this way why why only electric field is inserted why not magnetic field because the electric field is always perpendicular to the direction of propagation suppose if you are taking the waveguide from the side view okay this is the place where the probe is inserted now when the current is being passing through this one the field will be the electric field will be released in this way this is the actual direction of the electric field either in the upward direction or in the downward direction this is the direction of electric field <coughs> generally okay suppose if you are taking magnetic field magnetic field is like this magnetic field is like this it is just in the form of a loop but this type of magnetic field cannot be formed here because the electric field is going to be transferred in the direction of propagation which is perpendicular to the direction of propagation this is the direction of propagation and now it is perpendicular to the direction of propagation this is the way how we are inserting the probe into the other waveguide okay so this wave this coaxial line is connected to other waveguide they, where it collects the power and again it transfers the power into this waveguide okay and this should be done exactly at a distance of lambda by 4 the probe <coughs> the probe radiates energy equally into the waveguide where it is inserted that means this probe antenna insertion is usually made perpendicular to the length of the waveguide at a distance equal to exactly lambda by 4 okay so this is the way how we are inserting the probe and how to couple the power from and one waveguide to another waveguide okay i will let uh, two points here in probe coupling a probe inside a coaxial line is used to distribute energy into a waveguide as current flows in the probe an electric field electric field he set up and it gets detached from the probe to the waveguide to the waveguide okay that means when a current is being passing through this one the electric field is set up and it is detached from this one okay it is detached from this one and the energy is being transferred now see how the power electric power is going to be transferred how the electric field only is that is being transferred the see when a current is being passing through this one just the electric field is generated here that electric field slowly enters into the wave like this in this way also okay 
So the probe radiates energy equally into the waveguide into the waveguide where it is inserted okay that means on either sides it equally distributes the energy probe or probe antenna we can call it as probe or probe antenna because it transfers the energy into that waveguide so that's why it can also be called as probe antenna insertion usually made perpendicular to the length of the to the length of the waveguide that too at a distance of at a distance of quarter wavelength nothing but lambda by 4 this is the concept related to probe coupling coming to the loop coupling in loop coupling a coaxial cable that is inserted and that is formed like a ring here see here that is connected and that is inserted inside and that is connected as a ring so that it forms a loop over there whenever the electric energy whenever the current passes through this coaxial cable that current when it reaches the loop it simply releases the flux into this waveguide nothing but it releases the magnetic field lines into the waveguide like this see this is the way how the magnetic field is going to be released into the other waveguide so this slowly forms magnetic field flux magnetic field lines that are surrounded by this entire waveguide across the walls okay so wherever you can insert here or you can insert here here or any other side that creates the magnetic field inside the waveguide sorry so loop coupling enables coupling to the magnetic field in the waveguide in this loop coupling a conductor is inserted a conductor is inserted into a waveguide and bends into the loop and bends into the loop because the loop only can release the radiation in terms of magnetic field the center of the loop is at the equal distance from the top and bottom walls see here the wave in the loop where it is inserted that is exactly at the center from the walls okay it has to take the center and that is going to be inserted similarly when a current is being passing through this one again the loop releases the magnetic field this is what the loop coupling coming to aperture coupling aperture coupling is nothing but it can transfer both it is used to couple both E electric field and H magnetic field from one waveguide to another waveguide. Okay, see just simply what happens. This is the wave one waveguide. This is one waveguide where it is having narrow dimensions 
this is another waveguide where it is having wider dimensions that is only the difference to couple one uh, waveguide to another waveguide the power can be coupled from one waveguide to another waveguide means this is waveguide one this is waveguide two but what is the difference between these two they are having different dimensions okay this is having a, a x1 y1 and this is having x2 y2 the dimensions are different now the entire power both the electromagnetic signal entire electromagnetic signal can be coupled into the other waveguide because there is no probe is inserted from either way the opening part of the one waveguide is coupled with the other waveguides opening part and the entire power can be coupled easily without any usage of coaxial cable that means by seeing the diagram we can understand how the aperture coupling works okay so these are the different types of coupling mechanisms available in the waveguides thank you